Hey you guys, what's up? Today I have like a kind of get ready with me style video. I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of new products for you guys on camera. I haven't done a video like this in a while on my channel, so I thought it'd be fun to try out some of the new products that I've gotten recently. So before we get into today's video, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, I'm doing a huge giveaway right now. You guys do not wanna miss out on that. You'll have a chance to win the Anastasia Riviera palette. I'll have a link for that giveaway in my description box below. And then I'll have the video up here in the card so you guys can see all of the other prizes. Today's post notification shout out goes to Robin. Thank you so much for having your notifications turned on. If you want to be the next shout out in one of my upcoming videos, all you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then leave me a comment down below that you have notifications turned on and that's it. It's super easy. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and get my hair out of my face. I have already put on moisturizer and washed my face and all of that stuff. So for primer, I did recently get a new primer. I think it was in my BoxyCharm or it might have been my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'm not sure, but this is from the brand Yinsa. This is their Tone Up Primer Essential Glow 8 Super Blacks Essence. It says it's supposed to refine, prep, and even skin tone. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. So as you can see, it kind of has like a nude color to it. I'm just gonna put it all over my face. Don't smell like a scent, which is great because I'm really not into like fragranced products. So I feel like my skin looks and feels like really smooth. And I do feel like I look kind of like glowy as well. Let me know if you guys have heard of this brand before. I had never heard of this. I went and checked out their website like after I got this and it seems like they do have some nice products. So for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I recently became like an ambassador for ColourPop and I'm so freaking excited about it because I love this brand so much. They sent me the shade 25N, which I actually requested and I thought this was gonna be like dark enough for me when I'm self tanned and it is a little bit light, so I'm probably just gonna mix a few drops of my Dermablend foundation in with that. And I have only tried this a couple of times and I did like it the few times that I've tried it, but I wanted to use it again today just because it's like newer to my collection and I don't have like a real like solid opinion on it yet. So to apply that today, I'm gonna be using my Morphe and Jeffree Star. This is the JS1 brush. I really like this brush a lot for foundation. So even with mixing a few drops of a darker foundation, it is just like a tiny bit too light. It's not too bad. I can definitely make it work, especially when I apply like bronzer and all of that. So I don't really have a new concealer to try out for you guys today. So I'm just gonna be using an old favorite. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Mine is in the shade C2, if you guys were wondering. I really love this concealer and I haven't used it in a while. So I just wanted to go ahead and use it today. So far, so good. I feel like my base makeup is actually looking really nice today. I really like the way that the primer made my skin look and I really, really like the ColourPop foundation. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the face. I do have the ColourPop No Filter powder here as well. Mine is just in the shade Translucent and I'm gonna use this to set underneath my eyes first and then I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face. All right, so now that my face is all set, I need to go ahead and bronze up my face. I just realized I don't have a new bronzer to try out. Like the only new bronzer I have is the Fenty bronzer and then the Benefit Hula bronzer, which are both new to my collection. But I've been using those a ton on my Instagram, like mini tutorials. So I'm just gonna go in with an old favorite, which I have not used in so long. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Mine is in the like light version. So for blush, I'm gonna be using my Sigma Core De Rosa blush. I love this blush so much, and I haven't used this in forever on my channel as well, so I wanted to go ahead and use like some old products I haven't used in a while, even though they're not really new. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using my Milani Strobe Light Highlighter. This is in the shade 01. I haven't used this in forever as well. It's just so good. Like this is seriously the best highlighter I've ever tried from the drugstore.
So now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I am gonna be trying out the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight Palette, which I have already used this for a look and I'm like obsessed, but today I wanna do like a little bit more of a natural look. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of build up the color instead of starting with the dark, I'm gonna start with the light. So I think I'm just gonna run the shade Matter of Fact throughout my crease first. I'm gonna be taking a Sigma E40 brush to do that. I'm just gonna dip a little bit in and just blend this all throughout my crease. The shade probably won't show up very much, but it is there. I'm also gonna drag that a little bit along the lower lash line. So now on a little bit smaller of a blending brush, this is the Sigma E35. I'm gonna dip into the shade down right, and I'm just gonna put this a little bit lower into the crease. The ColourPop eyeshadow formula is honestly one of my favorites. There, you had me at Hello Palette. It's probably actually like in my top five all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. The shadows just blend out so easily, and I really, just, I really like the formula of these. I'm also gonna drag that shade a little bit along the lower lash line as well. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade BS on like a tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna first kind of pack this on the outer corner, and then I'm gonna blend it in to my crease just a little bit. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that same shade on a flat definer brush, and we're just going to press this along the lower lash line, keeping it a little bit closer than the previous shades. So the last matte shade I'm gonna go in with in my crease is the shade Frank. I'm gonna be using the same brush and I'm just gonna put this on my outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna pick up some of the shade up front and I'm just gonna put this right in my inner corner. I'm also gonna put a little bit underneath my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna pick up the shade straight up and I'm gonna put this on the rest of my lid. So I do have a new mascara to try out today as well. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. If you guys saw my most recent PR haul, they did send me this mascara, their new like waterproof version of this mascara and then their eyeliner. I've never actually tried this mascara, but I've heard really good things about it. So already I'm really liking the way this is making my bottom lashes look. I feel like they look like super long and they actually look like pretty separated. All right, so I'm really liking the way my lashes are looking. I feel like I could get them a little bit longer. It is a little bit like, you know how when you get new mascaras and they're a little bit more like on the wet side and then once they start like kind of like drying up and clumping up a little bit, they start working better. I feel like this one is gonna work so well once it kind of gets a little bit drier. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows off camera and then I'll be back to finish off the look with the lips. All right, so to finish off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm gonna be using this Grande Lips Hydro Plump Liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Rebel Raisin. I love the Grande liquid lipsticks. I've never tried this shade. It's like a super dark, like kind of deep red berry shade. I'm really excited about this one. I feel like since I have such a simple eye look, I can kind of get away with the deep lip, which I love. All right, so I am loving this lip shade. I feel like this is gonna be a really nice shade for the fall. I love the Grande Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick Formula. They're like really unlike any other formula I've ever tried. They're very comfortable on the lips and they feel like super like velvety whenever you apply them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one last thing before I finish up this video. We're gonna go ahead and set the face with the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. I have been using this recently and I've been really liking it so far. I've only used it a couple of times, so we're gonna go ahead and use it today. The scent is definitely not my favorite, but I do feel like the formula is really nice, at least as far as I can tell. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and like do something with this 
hair and then I will be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so this is the completed look. I'm actually like super, super happy with how it turned out. I know it's not really like kind of summertime looking. I feel like the eyes could definitely be for summer, kind of natural. The lip shade is definitely not something I would wear during the summertime, but I'm really obsessed with it. Like I really, really like it a lot. As for all of like the face products I tried out, like the primer, the foundation, the powder, I feel like I'm really liking the way that my face makeup looks today. Like I feel like my skin looks very smooth. I'm definitely super impressed. The Pretty much everything today was like a win. There wasn't anything that was really like a flop. I really liked all of the products that I tried out today. I'll have all of the products that I mentioned in today's video linked in my description box below if you guys want to check any of them out. So I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. Make sure you guys also check out that giveaway that I mentioned at the beginning of today's video. You guys do not want to miss out on that. I'll have a link for it in my description box below. And before you leave, make sure you guys click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can receive notifications of when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching.